what if we come to justify our wealth? What if we come to justify our power? What if we come to justify our pleasure? What if we come to accept and embrace it? We even have a theology, by the way, in American evangelicalism that says uh, uh, you're supposed to be healthy, wealthy, and, and, and blessed. The prosperity theology. And this raises the question, what happens then if there's no rocky places or no thorns? What if there's no persecution of Christians? What if there's no requirements to surrender our wealth, our power, our pleasure? Would everyone remain? After all, there's no reason to leave. We are wealthy, powerful, and prosperous. If you followed uh, the Determined Tooth podcast, the live streams, the blogs for any period of time, you know that I believe that power and wealth are the great temptations that the beast and the empire of the book of Revelation offers. It's what the devil offers. It's the antithesis of the kingdom of God. And I think Jesus was speaking against this also. It's not just the book of Revelation. We need to read Jesus in light of his re response to empire. Not alone, not the only thing he's responding to, but I think the Pharisees and Sadducees had got into cahoots with empire. I think we see this in 1 Timothy chapter 6. The love of the money is, the love of money is the root of all sorts of evil.